Shalom and welcome to Students of Torah. This year is entitled Simcha. It's a true avoda. The fact is, it's a circus time. It's not a simcha tenu. And it's not so simple to fulfill the mitzvah of simcha. Not all year, not on Sukkot. And there's an amazing story with the Liv Yitzchak Yuvaditcha, which I think says a lot. Uh, in his town in Europe, surely it wasn't easy to get a little of an esro, but all his Hasidim, of course, loved him so much, they made sure he had a beautiful set, and uh, well, not everyone had a set, so people lined up uh, to go ahead and make a bracha with his set. And uh, the Shammah says, you know what, I'm, I'm here with the Rebbe all day, every day, I know it's going to happen, and everyone's going to go ahead and make the bracha, and I'll be at the end of the line, and uh, later in the afternoon I'll first get to make a bracha on his set. So right now the Rebbe went out, he went to the mikvah, and he's getting ready to do all his ochanas. So uh, let me go take the esrog out, and uh, I'll go ahead, and I'll do the mitzvah now, and I won't be uh, have to wait till the end of the day. And everyone knows the Rebbe, he's like, loved the old mitzvahs very, very much, and he's especially excited about a lul of an esrog. He worked towards it, and he looked forward to it. He couldn't wait for shkiat hachama, for the sun to set, so he can begin the mitzvah. And, you know, just a few hours later, once the morning hits, so he enjoyed the sukkah at night, then the Ava in the morning, he went to the mikvah, comes back, and he's uh, about to take the esrog, then the sham says, Rebbe, I need to tell you something. I was so, you know, excited about doing the mitzvah, I actually dropped the esrog. It broke. It broke its puzzle. Shamash was going crazy, even though how the Rebbe is going to react to such news. And the Rebbe, Rav Levi Yitzchak, immediately looked at Hashem with such simcha, said, Hashem, look, look at your B'nai Yisrael, look at your Banim. They have such a love of the mitzvot. He couldn't wait till the end of the day to do the mitzvah. And therefore, he had such reasons to do it early. Okay, if by accident he broke it and he took it with that, it was just okay, okay. But look at this reasons. Look at the love of mitzvah that B'nai Yisrael have, Hashem. These are your children. I think the message is not just a beautiful met- message that he kept his cool, he didn't get angry, he didn't make the person feel like a nothing. Besides, and maybe afterwards, later on, he did give him a lesson, who knows. But the immediate reaction, I think, is, is an unbelievable lesson of simcha. I think for many people, simple, we get hyper-focused. This person loves learning. Beautiful, it's amazing. And he's hyper-focused on his learning. As he's learning, he has this, he gets busy with other things, and his family is taking his time away now, and other things take away his time. He had a seder, but now something came up, an emergency. Uh, he can't be in Simcha now, because I was learning now. Even other things now came up. He had, uh, this issue came up, real family needs that you just could not push off. Normally, you keep your schedule for learning, and something came up. And it, was just, it wasn't one of those choice cases, okay? So are you hyper-focused that your simcha comes from learning, or is your simcha coming from your connection to MS, to reality, to Avodah Hashem, to Ratzon Hashem? If it's, I just need to learn, that's my simcha, wait a second, so that's not what it's supposed to be. Your simcha should be that you're connecting to Hashem. And you're right that normally connecting to Hashem comes through learning, but now it could come to what? Taking your kids an appointment that you forgot up the last minute, your wife can't take it. Now that's your simple right now to do that and to drop the learning. There's no choices. And poor medical appointment, you have to do it. Okay? For Avlevi Yitzchak, is he focused? My simcha is on the Abba meeting per se? Or no, my simcha is in my Avodah Hashem. So I thought it's going to be through these gorgeous Abba meeting. And I thought that's going to be my simcha. Oh, I realized I don't have the Abba meeting. So what's my simcha now? Oh, I have to have my Abba without my Abba I can't have any Simcha. No. My Simcha is about this Hashem. So right now, my Simcha is not from Abba Minim. What's my Simcha from? From seeing the beauty of Hashem's beautiful people. That's my Abba this Hashem. And that's my Simcha. person goes ahead, he has to really have anything that he's involved in. Some people have their baby. That's a Dukkah that they're involved in. And that's their baby. And beautiful, it's great. They built up the yeshiva, the mikvah, the shul, whatever their organization is, the kupa, the tzedaka organization, whatever it may be. What is it? And you have a simcha by building it up. Is it that that's it? You're hyper-focused and you can't have anything else? You can't even give it to any other tzedaka? You can't help any other yeshiva because you're just hyper-focused on this? Or the simcha is simply because that's your Hashem. You have a special role to play here. And let's say chas v'shalom. 
the, 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 it's not around anymore, and the yeshiva goes under, the sadaka goes under, or, or it's not looking so it's great. Okay, my circle moves on to something else now. So I think this man Svachasenu is a big avoda. It's not Muvan Me'elav. This simcha is not something that we're hyper-focused in on. Him, he gets his simcha from his tzedakah. He gets his moment from his abaminim. He gets his simcha from his learning. It's a hyper-focus. No. The simcha is my connection to Emes to Hashem. And yes, right now working on this organization, this project, I get a great simcha sipuk from that. And if something comes up and I can't work on that, Move on. My simple is for the Abba Minim. It's not working right now. My Abba Minim broke. My simple is going to come from accepting I don't have that Abba Minim. My simple is from learning. Yeah, but right now I don't have my learning. Okay, my simple is going to come from whatever else has to take the place at this point. It's a much mature and sophisticated approach to Simcha, and I think it's a real avodah. May Hashem bless us to achieve true Simcha Shalom.